We're going to focus on three important search strategies to help you find relevant sources on your topic. The process of identifying keywords and synonyms is an essential step in the research process and should be done before you begin your search. It is important to identify a variety of keywords and synonyms to use in your search because different resources use different vocabularies. Keywords can also be combined to make your searches more effective. Suppose that you are researching the question of whether hybrid vehicles can help to reduce further deterioration of the environment. A few keywords for this topic include hybrid, vehicle, and environment. Synonyms for vehicle include car, auto, or automobile. Related terms might include bus, van, truck, lorry, transportation, etc. The keywords that you select and combine will lead you to sources that discuss your topic. If you search for just the term hybrid, that's a very broad search, and the results will include information about hybrid cars, hybrid plants, hybrid music, and so forth. You can narrow your search by adding the term vehicle as a keyword. This will change your results, giving you content that deals specifically with hybrid vehicles. Adding a third term, such as environment, focuses the results even further, and non-relevant content nearly disappears from the results. Using AND is a good way to narrow your search. For example, searching hybrid and vehicle will return results that contain both the word hybrid and the word vehicle. If you need to broaden your search, try using OR in between terms. An example of this would be searching hybrid and vehicle or car. This will return results that include hybrid vehicle or hybrid car. You can use NOT to exclude certain results. For instance, if you do a search for hybrid and vehicle, not propane, your results will exclude articles with the term propane. However, if an article mentions both propane and hybrid vehicles, then your results will also exclude this article, even though it includes relevant content. Be careful when using NOT, because you don't want to inadvertently exclude material that might be useful. Tip: You should only use NOT to filter out false or clearly irrelevant results. If you are getting lots of false or irrelevant hits, then choose a term in the false hits and use NOT to exclude articles with this term. Click on the search option labeled boolean slash phrase. Using AND will narrow your search results. Let's try searching for hybrid AND vehicle. As you can see, the search returned 5,899 items that contain both words. Now, let's do a search that contains hybrid and car. This will return different results. You can further narrow your results by adding the term car to your search parameters. Don't forget to add the parentheses around the terms vehicle or car so that the database knows which function to perform first. Using this syntax, your search will first look for items containing the word vehicle or car. Within those results, the database will retrieve items that also include the term hybrid. Your results will include items about hybrid vehicles and hybrid cars. The NOT search parameter should only be used to exclude false hits. If you seem to be getting lots of false hits in your results, you might look for a term that is common among them and then use that term to filter out false hits. Tip: The parameter NOT should be used very seldom and only to exclude false hits. Let's try searching with the exclusion of propane. To continue narrowing your results, you can always use the tools given to you on the left sidebar. Here you will find a variety of options that allow you to make the search more customized to what you are looking for. Another great way to narrow your search is by using phrase searching. Phrase searching is defined by using double quotes around terms to search for instances where the terms appear side by side. For example, hybrid vehicle in quotes and environment is a more narrow search than hybrid vehicle and environment. Whether you are searching the research databases provided by the library or the World Wide Web, this technique will effectively focus your search and lead you to the most relevant sources faster. Let's try the phrase searching technique by entering hybrid vehicle in quotation marks and environment. Notice that our search returned 36 results, a much more manageable number of results. In some cases, phrase searching can lead you directly to the most relevant sources, yet this technique doesn't guarantee that the results will be exactly what you want. We can increase our results further by expanding the search to include either hybrid vehicle, in quotes, or hybrid car, in quotes, and environment. Don't forget the parentheses so that the database knows which terms to search first. 
This search not only expanded the results, but narrowed them to more relevant results with the addition of environment. Effective searching is an art that combines a little bit of skill mixed with a little bit of luck and a lot of patience. If you need additional help with formulating a search strategy, please contact a librarian in person, by email, or by phone. We are always ready to help.